you know, as a doctor, I've always found hypertension or high blood pressure to be a hard sell. You can't see it, and often you can't feel it. And yet, it's a silent menace that can cause debilitating strokes and life-threatening heart disease. And what's more, we don't even know what causes it most of the time. But what if I told you that a staggering 15% of people with hypertension, that's hundreds of thousands of Australians and millions around the world, unbeknown to them and their doctors, their bodies are actually making too much of a hormone that causes a high blood pressure. And for many of these people, a simple intervention can lead to a cure of this disease forever. You'd say it was a game changer, and you'd be right. My name is Dr. Jun Young. I'm an endocrinologist researcher at Hudson Institute of Medical Research, Monash University and Monash Health. For years, I've been interested in a condition called primary aldosteronism. It's a silent killer, but it's a killer with a distinctive marker. And it's easy to find if you know where to look. When our blood pressure drops, our kidneys produce renin, which then tells the adrenal glands on top of the kidney to make a hormone called aldosterone. Aldosterone then tells the kidney to keep salt in the body, thereby increasing our blood pressure back up. In primary aldosteronism, the adrenal gland is overactive and continuously churn out aldosterone, and so the blood pressure goes up and up and up. Primary aldosteronism has been considered rare, but I think it is much more common than we realise. GPs in Victoria diagnose it in one in a thousand hypertensive patients. But here's the thing, it only takes a simple blood test to measure a raised aldosterone level, just that no one thinks to order the blood test. In an Australian first study, sponsored by the Heart Foundation, I asked GPs from 20 clinics in Victoria to screen every newly diagnosed hypertensive patient with the blood test. And we found that one in six or 15% of these patients had primary aldosteronism as the cause of their high blood pressure. This condition can potentially be cured with removal of the gland or safely treated with a medication that blocks aldosterone action. I believe there are many Australians living with undiagnosed primary aldosteronism. Their blood pressure is therefore difficult to control. And what's worse, at this very moment, there are increased risk of early death from stroke or heart disease. A simple blood test could change the course of their lives and even lead to a cure of their condition. If you have hypertension, have you had a blood test for primary aldosteronism?